Hello Pirates, I'm Ashley. And I'm Aya. And this, this is, is the Pirate, Pirate Weekly News. News. NHD was due Monday, so make sure you passed in your project and good luck. Also, parent-teacher conferences are on the 12th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, science fair was thrilling. Good job to all those who presented to the judges. Hopefully your hard work will be reflected in the award ceremony, which will be on the 26th. Now a couple of interviews with Salma and Jaylene with our judges. Hi, I'm Salma with today's news. Um, could you please introduce yourself? Sure, my name is Allison Sardinini. I used to teach here at PCSS, and now I teach in Wakefield. So how has your experience been so far with the fair? It's been a wonderful experience. Despite all the snow days, they really pulled it together. And uh, I think that the projects are great, and it's very well organized. So I give kudos to the staff who prepared everything, and um, I can't wait to see the rest of the projects. Hi, my name is Jaylene. I'm with the Pirate Weekly News. Could you please introduce yourself? Oh, sure. My name is C, and I am a PhD candidate from Boston University, and I study mechanical engineering. It's my second time coming here to the science fair as a judge, and I really love being Thank here. You. Is there any particular project that stands out? Yeah, there were, there were some of the students that I recognized the last year, and I'm so happy to see that they continued their projects. There are so uh, there is a group they are doing um, gloves for uh, soccer fields and I remember I judged them last year and I'm very happy to see that they made more progress and they really think what can be added to it this year and I've seen students doing um, they have like a switch their ideas like last year there was a student I, I remember him last year because I was the judge and he was doing something related to the uh, biology like uh, mice and this year he switched to technical things doing um, batteries uh, sorry <laughs> doing um, Electri uh, electricity energy collection from uh, Daily Walk, and I was I was very impressed. Like uh, he could manage like a very broad fields, like last year's science, this year's technology, and I would say it's a very nice try to see what he is, um, what he likes. I mean, just like try different subjects and what's what is the best match for him. So. Can you introduce yourself, please? Sure. Hi, my name is Keith Elliott. I'm software engineer. And how did you find um, Pioneer Charter School of Science and its students? Um, I, th I find them very knowledgeable. Very, um, I think the school does a great job of keeping the students on task. And, yeah. Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Susan Batetti, and I just started graduate school at Tufts University. How did you find Pioneer Charter School of Science and its students? I find it very stimulating environment. Kids seem to really be happy here and are challenged with um, this research project is a great way to practice scientific method. That's a great thing to do in high school and even in middle school. Uh, very impressive how well the students executed those projects for only seventh and eighth grade. Are there any recommendations you would like to make to future scientists? Uh, Embrace the mistakes. I think a lot of students did a good job of doing that and altering um, their projects so it wasn't going right. So I think the biggest thing people can get frustrated with science is if things don't go well right away, they're going to give up or not really think more on it. So just asking the questions and being willing to grind away. Thank you so much. Thank you, Salma and Jeeling. Fact of the day. A study has been shown that teenagers who spend an accumulative amount of time in a day on electronics alone tend to have problems sleeping at night. SAT words. Succeed, access, obsess, cessation, excess. And now sports with Christian. Hey, I'm back, and this is Sports News. There's a basketball game against Match on Monday. The girls start at 5, and the boys will start at 6.15. Also, there's another game on Friday at Salem Academy. The girls will be starting at 4.15, and the boys at 5.30. So, make sure you come and support your fellow classmates. Also, congratulations to the boys and girls basketball team for winning their last recent games. Keep up the victories. Yeah. Hello, weather with Handel. Tuesday will be high 36, low 3 with a chance of snow. Wednesday will be high 30s, low 16 and it will be cloudy. 
Thursday will be high 39, low 5s with the chance of snow. Friday will be high 16, low 0 degrees and partly cloudy. Saturday will be high 25, low 14 with a chance of snow. Make sure you make it to Saturday Academy if you can. Bye.